In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the speed of your internet with a speed test command on Linux. So let's go ahead and get on into it. We're all familiar with something like speedtest.net where you can come here and do a speed test on a web browser. But what people might not know is that speedtest.net has a command line interface. So if you just go to the website speedtest.net, you can come down here to the bottom and see the CLI link. Click on that. CLI stands for command line interface. And while you can do it on a Mac, you can also do it on these Linux operating systems here. I have an Ubuntu server, so we're going to follow these steps today. And my Ubuntu server uh, is from DigitalOcean. It is at this IP address and it is in a New York City data center. Keep that in mind for a little bit later. So let's go ahead and log into my Ubuntu system with SSH root at the IP address. And like I said, we're going to follow these instructions down here. So um, you probably already have uh, app or curl installed. So let's just go ahead and do that apt install curl. And then the important one is this one right here. So this is going to um, add the, what should I say? This is going to add the speedtest.net, the speed test program repository to your system. And now you can run uh, app get install speed test to install the actual command onto your system. And now that we have the command on our system, we simply just have to type speed test, hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and run up oh, oh, actually the first time you have to accept the license so type yes hit enter and now it's going to run the speed test and because we are on a server in a data center in new york it finds the closest server to it for the speed testing purposes um, we'll go into that in a little bit our inter internet service provider is digital ocean and the latency is very low. Latency is just another name for ping, the round trip time to go from this server to the test server and back. And the jitter is just a measure of the variance of the latency. Um, our download speed was an impressive 7,300 megabits per second and our upload speed is 2,000 megabits per second. We had 0% packet loss. So re really cool is you can copy this URL and go to a web browser and see those results in a GUI like this. So. What um, what I really like about this, if you type in speed test dash H, you can see that you, well, you have a lot of options. We'll go into some of these, but you can see that you can pick different uh, types of units for what it's measuring in. So like I said, we were measuring in megabits per second because we have so much bandwidth here in the server, uh, megabits per second might not be the best way to measure it. Um, so let's, let's change that, let's try megabytes per second next so let's do speed test dash u see this is for the u flag dash u for units and then we'll do mb capital m capital b dash or slash s run that again and you'll see now that we are getting 850 800 plus megabytes per second and for for the test just the download test alone it used 3.7 gigabytes because there's there's a lot of throughput there and we'll see it use 2.3 gigabytes for the upload test. Um, one more test, we'll do it with gigabytes per second just to give you some more perspective about how fast it is. This is almost just shy of one gigabyte per second. So this is a server with very fast bandwidth. Now, like I said, um, we are in a VPS server in a data center in New York City somewhere. And it seems to be consistently picking this pilot fiber uh, test server to test from. So to see a list of available servers to test from, you can do speed test dash capital L. Whoop, let's, let's spell that right. Speed test dash capital L. And these are all the, ser the test servers around my data center in the New York City area that we can choose from. Now, if we wanna see why it's picking the pilot fiber one, we can do speed test dash dash selection dash, what was it, selection details. Um, and you'll see that it kind of does a, a ping test, a latency test for each one of these servers around it. And it picks the one with the lowest latency. So uh, pick pilot fiber again, that has this ID 13098. Where's that in this list? So here you go. That's because it was one of the only few besides this uh, inter-server Inc that had a latency less than one millisecond. So 
Um, that's how that all works. You can, for whatever reason, if you want to explicitly pick one of these and run the speed test to another one of the servers, you can do speed test dash S and then the ID of the server. So let's say, um, let's try this Tela Bermuda one. And instead of going through that selection criteria, it'll just explicitly pick that test server for testing purposes. This is about it, guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.